it's just something about brushing on uh, a, br a brush on your object with a pin versus a mouse does make you feel like more connected to it and not to get in a weird hippy dippy artistic way but uh, it definitely added a new element to the art that makes me feel a little bit more like I made this versus you know I computed this does that make sense um, so let's just take a look at um, me bumbling through this but a big shout out to Huyan for watching the canvas pro third um, what is it what even is it <laughs> canvas pro 13 let's unbox this thing and let's take a look at this thing ASMR. <laughs> okay, what's, what's up? Whoa, it's way thinner than I thought it was going to be. You see how it's like super clean there? It's a good matte, matte and like anti-gloss kind of thing. That's nice. Where's the pin? Oh, God. Pin! Okay, don't wear these near <laughs> Velcro. Where's my pin? Ah, yes, I found it. So yeah, let's just have a looky at uh, this little setup here. Where to put this? Okay, so I gotta find two USB ports and an HDMI port uh, to hook this into. You know, I've always said that they need to make a game show about plugging things in behind stuff. Or like an exercise program or something because for easy. Why is this the sweatiest thing in the world? So first plaint is with this kind of setup. Um, I don't have a lot of room to run it over to where I want it. Now it does come with a USB extender. But as you saw, the problem is, is there are two USBs. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to do. Okay, and for the sake of this video right now, before rearranging my desk, uh, we're just going to put it right here and download the driver. Maybe I shouldn't have choose our working area. It's not, not, you know, I've never used tablets. Um, it's a little scratchy feeling, but also not. I think it's just I'm not used to it at all. It just feels like a pen, um, which is kind of cool. Look at this. So I've got it set up. So I've got it set up here where it's a third screen. Uh, I've got it moved over here and C40 is on here. So we're going to uh, screen record this and record like me actually using it. Um, this Why is this the most confusing but also most fascinating thing to me? Okay. Don't I just look like I know what I'm doing though? I think it's worth it already for out the box. All right. Hey. Watch me, uh, watch me make some stuff here. I, um, oh god. <laughs> Let's grab this, right? Okay. Fool, this is weird to me. Um, so this is very strange. The fact that I don't have to touch screen and it just knows where my mouse is from like a centimeter away. It feels bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna try not to use my mouse anymore uh, and we'll see how this goes. Welcome to Good Burger. Okay, let's add some cheese. Okay, so from here on, I pretty much just kept using the pin. Got a little more familiar with it. Uh, it was really easy to plug things in and work. Like, it worked really well as a mouse. There's no lag. I never misclicked based on it. I did find myself clicking the side buttons a little bit, but that's just because I'm not used to a pin, and I've just got clumsy fingers. But basically, in the end, it was actually really nice to use a pin for this, and our end result was kind of a mediocre burger based on you know, my own judgment. I just didn't get the button right. I don't know what I was really doing wrong, but it was fun to play around with. And really, in the end, that's really all that matters, right? Uh, so overall, it, was, uh, it worked incredibly well with C40. Yo, know, we made a boogie. Okay. It did bring a new experience 
into 3D modeling than I haven't experienced in a while. Yeah, it literally, I did the driver, plugged it in. The cord is short. That's my biggest complaint for a, for a weird setup like I have. Obviously, I could just get another USB cable extender and an HDMI extender, and that's fine. I don't understand why it comes with one USB extender when it has two USB plugs. That's kind of weird. But uh, right out of the box, it's good to go. I like this this stand. I like that I can put it um, on this and like have it elevated. And um, man, let me tell you, this is the longest I've held a pin in my hand in the, probably the last five years. I do not write a lot or draw a lot. And um, it, was a, it was an experience. But what I will say is after unboxing it, taking a look at it, it was super easy to set up. It looks fantastic. It's crisp. It's uh, My window is wide open. I'm getting zero glare. Even if I come in like this, I get glare if I'm looking at it, you know, at that angle. But when I'm looking at it, like, while I'm working, super clean. The actual field of view from, like, viewpoint, uh, it's pretty good. I don't have to be, like, right over it to see it. Um, but I will say, like, wherever it has this nice little gap between, as you see later on, um, this kind of has you don't even have to touch the screen it kind of like detects where it is very close there's very very little lag which is huge for me um there's very little lag between where my pen is and where i click and uh, it's actually incredibly accurate and super easy to use honestly i thought i'd struggle even more than i did um but overall fantastic product i honestly if you are looking for a pen display that's in a good like consumer pro budget range um this thing's nice. Really nice. That's really it. Uh, I like it. Will I continue to use it? Yes. It's just a different experience, which is what's cool about it, because I've been doing 3D for years now, and um, I didn't ever think that a pen would come into my workflow, and uh, it actually might, because it's actually kind of, um, it's kind of really fun. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's just take a look, and um, if you like this kind of video and review, uh, let me know in the comments below what you want me to uh, see or take a look at or if you have any questions about it let me know there's a link below again thank you to Huvion for sending me this product it is it's awesome I love it you should check it out definitely check it out with the link below all right real quick I just want to mention that the mind and motion workshop is now available there's both the premium tier and the basic tier the premium one is a guided one that has sessions that are scheduled out so be on the lookout for those while as the basic tier which is the cheaper option doesn't have as much access to me but does have all 40 plus hours of content 100 plus videos of training uh, it's a lot and you get instant access to all of it and it is phenomenal it's like all uh, so good 